So now let's apply the knowledge you have so far to create a simple, minimal and a modern motion background using the repeater and the shape layer. From the toolbar at the top, pick the rectangular tool, then hold down control and shift key or command and shift key to create to create a, an even rectangle like this. So hit V on your keyboard to drop the active tool. Select the pen tool right here next to the triangular tool. Hold down control key or command key and then double click on the anchor tool. That will move the anchor point to the center of the rectangle. Now hit V again to drop the active tool. Open the align window and then align this to center. Next, we are going to take out the fill color. Select the fill option right here and set it to none. Then select the stroke color right here and give it a neon blue color like this. Select your shape layer, hit S on the keyboard and drop this scale value to about 35. Increase the stroke value to about 20. Uh, next, hit UU on the keyboard to expand the property option for the shape layer. Then go to transform rectangle 1. Expand it. Move your time indicator to the first frame and then create a keyframe for the position. Then move to 2 seconds forward in time and adjust the position until this goes off the screen. If you preview this, currently we just have our rectangle moving up. We're still going to make some changes to make it a bit more professional. So now the next thing we're going to do is to go to the stroke. Go to the stroke right here. Go to about 10 frames forward in time and set a keyframe for the stroke width. Now go to frame 0 and then set the stroke value to 0. Move to 2 seconds forward in time, then copy the first keyframe for the width value which is 0, Control C or Command C and Control V to paste it at 2 seconds. Then you move your time indicator to about this point, then copy the second keyframe right here which is 20, Control C again and Control V or Command V to paste it right here. And this will give you this fading in and fading out uh, effect. We're still going to do add more one option on the transform rectangle one. Move your time indicator back to zero. On the transform rectangle one, set a keyframe for the rotation. Then move to two seconds forward in time and set the rotation to one by zero, zero. And this will leave you with this option, the animation like this. Beautiful. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to hit you on the keyboard to reveal all our keyframes. Then highlight all the keyframe right here. Right click on it. Go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease them. So once you have this, this will give it a bit of more organic feel as it animates out the preview window. So I'm going to make this a little bit faster. So with the keyframe still selected, I'm going to hold down the option key on my keyboard or the alt key on windows, then select and drag the last keyframe here and move it inward. What this does is to close up all the keyframe and make the animation happens a bit more faster. Take a look at this and see. Beautiful. I still want it to happen a bit more faster, so I'll still hold down my option key or the alt key on window and then still pull the keyframe to close up so that all the animation will happen in one second. I still want it a bit a bit slower. Feel free to leave it to what really appeals to you. This is only to guide you on how to do it. The destination is yours. You can always come back and then make adjustments to this. So the next thing I'm gonna show you right here to make this a bit more appealing is to select the position keyframe, the last one right here, then switch the timeline to the graph editor. So make sure you uh, the edit speed graph is active 
make sure your curves are like this if it's not like this right click on the timeline and then select edit speed graph right here in my own case it is active so select the keyframe right here and then move this handle to inward so this will make the animation speed up from the beginning and then slow down before it goes out now let's add a repeater on the add option right here on the timeline select it and then select repeater from the drop down expand the repeater one right here and set copies to 15 set copies to 15 then expand the transform repeater one right here and set the x position right here to zero on the rotation value set it to 0 by 160 and if you play back this is what you have currently beautiful you just created an amazing motion graphics using the shape layer and the repeater in the next chapter we are gonna make this look more professional